Hello everybody, today I'm making chocolate eclairs. <laughs> okay, step one. In a saucepan, one cup of water. Okay. And then, a hundred grams of butter. Okay. And then we get a wooden spoon. And I will just wait to, to come to a boil and the butter has melted. Okay. And we'll be right back. Okay, so it's come to a boil. I'll lower the heat. And I'll add one cup of normal cake flour. And then I'll just stir quickly. Very, very quickly. There we go. And you stir until a nice ball is formed and it sticks. I'll switch off the heat because this pot saucepan. There we go. Okay. There we go. And I'll switch back the heat on. Just so that I can just do this a bit more. See? Okay. And I want it to stick a bit to the pan, to the pot. There we go. There we go. Okay. So just so help cook the flour a bit and there we go and I'll be back with the next step <laughs> okay so here is the dough and it has cooled off for about a couple of minutes and this is four eggs just uh, your normal medium size eggs medium to large now this is the trick okay watch now I'm going to add this slowly as I mix it. I must figure out first how I'm going to... <laughs> okay, there we go. So, in. I'm going to add this by bit. Mix it. So I've now gone over to a spoon and I'll just do this further with a spoon. You see it's quite thick and it hangs on. Okay. Nice and thick. And it's got that drop consistency. It still needs a bit more stirring. You do that until you get a nice shine. On the dough okay and next I'm gonna pipe it on my tray and then bake it and we'll be back can you see nice and it hangs like that okay here we go <laughs> okay guys we're back so I'm going to pipe some of it if those for those who have um piping bags right don't worry about the points you're going to flatten it with some water and your finger and i'll do a straight one okay Another one. And then a round one here. My 
my tippies when you use eggs it's all about the eggs eh <laughs> if it's small eggs use four eggs if it's large use four eggs but near the end you will beat the mixture and just see for that drop consistency right and uh, just pipe that okay and we'll just flatten it and they do swell a lot okay I'll just flatten it with my fingers Last bit. I'll just add more on one go. Okay. And with a little water, you can just dip your finger in the water and just flatten it. There we go. Shake it up. Do that with the rest. So and clear is obviously the long one and profiter. Profiter always the round ones. But the end cap then we say clear is for all the shapes. <laughs> okay, if you don't have a piping bag, you simply take a spoon. And it's gonna be and just do that. And we'll shape it with our fingers. Okay. Here we go. That's how you do it, and just use some. Dip your finger and just flatten it a bit, okay? And I'll finish this off. But my oven is preheated to 200 degrees, and I've put some ice blocks in a pan. I'm going to put this into the oven as well, and that will create some extra steam to crisp up your eclairs. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, the eclairs is out of the oven. It baked for 40 minutes, and then I just slightly uh, opened the oven and let it dry for another 10 minutes, and now it's cooling off. And now I'm going to make my chocolate ganache. Okay, and this is a quarter, no, sorry, a third of a cup of fresh cream that I heated up for about 45, 50 seconds in the microwave. And in this bowl is 150 grams of chocolate. Half of it, of which is dark chocolate, and the other half just normal milk chocolate. Now, all this was leftovers. <laughs> I'm using leftovers. So I'm going to pour this in, and I'm going to let it sit until everything has melted. And when we come back, I'm going to assemble, and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I've stirred it, and you just continuously do that. So it becomes this delicious <laughs> chocolate ganache. Look, if it pulls and it separates, add a few tablespoons of cream, cold cream, just to bring the temperature down and then you whisk. Okay, and now I'm going to fill the clays with fresh cream okay and we'll be right back okay, guys so I'm just piping don't overfill it because when you bite on it you won't you can see how I do it go and you will see me show you how crispy this is cuts nice into it and then Next, I'll put on the chocolate. Okay, guys, you want your ganache to slightly cool off. Well, not slightly, cool off completely. And I put it in the fridge for a few minutes. I'm in a hurry. You see, nice and thick. And now we're going to pour the chocolate over. Just move it along. Get that out. Okay. <laughs> chocolate eclairs now I can tell you this when I go to functions right 
There's two things I look out for. Samosas and chocolate eclairs. If I don't see those two at any function, especially weddings or gatherings, I'm a wee bit disappointed. <laughs> I have my disappointed look. Like sad. <laughs> okay, I'll keep the rest of the chocolate for the other chocolate eclairs. There we go. It's my little one. And there you have it. Chocolate eclairs. <laughs> Look there. <laughs>